hello everyone it's me asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you three tricks of making three sort of effects in photoshop one two and three so first of all the paper effect second the skin retouching and the third which is the text effect portrait so let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so first thing first the paper cutting effect so going to the file and taking new options from here i'm taking 1080 by 1920 and pixel will be 300 pixel per inch and hit the create button you'll get this sort of reels type or story type artboard over there and after that going to the file and going to the place embedded options so i downloaded a couple of images for this tutorial and uh, let's see here i downloaded uh, the photos here is the stock photo and making the size according to the artboard and hit the tick button we need the paper effect i already downloaded some paper effect from free peak and those are the vector files so one thing is that we have to ungroup those things and we'll copy those things ctrl c and ctrl f and shift and just rotate these things and join them into one piece yeah all the thing selected and here is a pathfinder tool and united so we got a paper cut from here copy these things and get back to the photoshop and just ctrl v and make sure the pixel is selected and hit ok and you have to make the size according to the output and hit the tick button our photo will make it rasterized layer and providing the name photo p h o t o photo that's fine and now press the control and hold it and select the paper layer and press ctrl j select the photo layer ctrl j okay just making it upside of that now you have to make the size bigger of the paper yeah the paper card will appear another thing is that we have to make this layer into black and white so control or command u desaturate that layer and hit ok and now we have to provide the color uh, gradient or uh, like color like that so i'm using here the fill color the red one and here is the blending mode you can make it color burn you are getting your desired effect over there so first thing is done and i'm saving those things and uh, saving to my directory and after that we'll go to the next one so here photoshop effect that's fine and providing the project name that's fine and hit the ok button our first thing is done and now you have to save those things into jpeg mode if you want to post in your uh, story or over there and that's fine and now second one we have to make the skin retouching so we need the photo stock photo going to the file and open up so going to the stock image and uh, we'll just importing those image from my directory here is our output and here is our before image so we are we are opening it up so our before image was like that so at first you have to make two copies one two so turning off the upper layer this one will be the blur fine we have to make it blur going to the filter going to the uh, blur options going to the filter and going to the noise and the median so in this portion we'll make the blur when we see the spot has gone and hit the ok button that's fine now we have to add some texture so for that we have to take like 50 percent gray taking blank layer over there going to the edit options and going to the fill options from here we'll get the drop down menu 50% gray and hit ok 
make the blending mode into overlay that's fine now we'll add texture over there going to the filter going to the noise and add noise so noise value would be like that that's fine and hit ok and now this noise is not uh, perfect for matching with the skin we have to make it blur so going to the blur and going to the gaussian blur so now it seems like the skin texture according to this and hit ok that's fine and now turning on the upper layer and uh, going to the filter and going to the other and high pass so this layer is for the sharpening properties so we have to make it sharp so making it sharp that's fine 1.8 or 2 is good for that that's fine and now make the blending mode into the overlay that's good selecting these three layers making it group and after that making it mask so this mask is white we have to make it inverse press ctrl or command i and then going to the brush tool we have to take the soft brush like this and brush size should be bigger and hardness zero percent so you can make the brush size increase by pressing the third bracket uh, closing so here taking the brush and making the brush size bigger and now you have to remember that when this mask is black you have to brush in a white options so if you reset your foreground and background color you have to press D and after that press X to make it white that's fine and now brush over there which area do you want to make smooth you can increase or decrease the brush size by pressing the third bracket opening and closing which is pretty much easier for you and you have to brush the area which area you want to smooth or like spot free so already done yeah nice now time to make it some color grading and everything going to convert to smart object options and after that going to the filter and camera filter which is ultimate solution to make some contrast light and effect so making some exposure making some contrast highlight like that and temperature if you want to change i would like to use this sort of temperature and tint should be like that that's fine and here is a color mixture and color grading we will use the color grading meaning the shadow tone mid tone and the highlight so shadow meaning in a shadow portion which color do you want to provide in this portion the saturation comes out and here some color saturation actually meaning the percentage of the color and hue which color would be and i am providing here this sort of color and saturation should be little bit up down in a shadow portion that's fine in a mid tone meaning the less highlighted area so adding some saturation and providing some hue meaning the color which color will be and let's see the before one which is uh, like uh, de-highlighted and now we are getting the highlighted and the prominent one and from here you can provide some detailing you, you can add some noise reduction which is the color noise reduction and if we see from the color temperature tint and the effects you are getting some texture you can add some texture over there which will provide in a photo like a realistic feel and hit the ok button our process is done and we got our desired result and let's save this one into our directory so saving it out like uh, here skin retouch that's fine and you can make a jpg version or jpeg version whatever you can tell saving and now ctrl or command s and save copy as into the jpeg select this for the name and use format jpg or jpeg whatever you can tell and third one let's do this thing or this effect so for this effect we'll go to the file again and go into the new options and again we are taking 
1080p and 300 pixel per inch for the resolutions that's fine now going to the file and going to the place embedded options in this portion we'll use another stock photo which is like that and you can make it bigger and fit with the artboard that's fine so that's good and now turn off or you can delete the background and right press and rasterize making here then rename photo and press ctrl j that's fine and saving this out like uh, you have to save this one displays dsp which is and save that's fine now press ctrl or command r for the ruler pick a point in a middle so this is the middle point that's fine now going to the text tool i'm using here the text font which is the bebas so here you can write down the bebas if you don't have this font you have to download you can search on a google or you can check out my video description for the font download link here i'm using here the gap between two letters decreased and some the font size should be decreased and now we have to make the gap between two line like that copy those letters and pasting to fill up the area of the selection that's fine now taking the layer into the upside of the text and right press and create clipping mask okay now we can see the clipping mask over there so when when you are moving the image you have to see uh, what is happening here some position just uh, changed so you have to match those things according to this okay this one this one not the same position so you have to select these two layers and making it middle now i hope that is the middle of the artboard okay uh, again create clipping mask that's fine if we turn it off we are seeing over there the text and the photo is masked now going to the solid color taking a black color to match with the background so most of the people leave the effect from here but i would suggest you to add some displacement or matching with the faces so that's why i'm turning on this one again and making those things into convert to smart object that's fine I'm going to the file actually filter and going to the distort and displace from here the value will be unchanged and hit ok and you'll get that file who we, which we uh, just as previously saved here the dsp meaning the displacement and hit ok so now turning off actually this ok another thing is that why this is not appearing to in i effect because of we have to remove this part from this so here we are removing this part by pressing delete now you are getting the perfect effect from here so we learn three effect in a photoshop uh, hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and don't forget to share with your friend until the next video is yes, i'm signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye